Hey everybody, it's Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. The Sony booth has quieted down a little bit here at IFA on the first official day of IFA. We're still looking at the Xperia Z1. We've already compared it against the Galaxy S4. Now we're going to see how it stacks up against the HTC One very quickly. Let's take a look. So just taking a test drive around the hardware here, these devices, uh, you know, it's funny because the Z1 doesn't really look that big until you put it up against the HTC One, which is already a pretty tall device. And as you can see, the Z1 is larger in nearly uh, every dimension. Let's have a look at the thickness on the side here. HTC One, of course, goes for that nice curved uh, kind of palm kissing approach. Sony, much more brutal in its uh, just rectangular sandwich. Also, glass on the front, glass on the back. I believe this is Dragon Trail glass. Uh, but the um, HTC One aluminum here, let's turn them around. While we're around back here, we'll take a look at the cameras. The four megapixel or ultra pixel uh, low light camera with optical image stabilization on the HTC One versus a 20.7 megapixel camera with Sony uh, Exmor RS processing technology behind that. We're gonna have a full comparison on the cameras. Right now, uh, Sony has showed us a couple features which we'll get into in a second. Standby power on the right hand side here. Sony's still keeping their uh, pronounced buttons intact. HTC, of course, keeping that up on top along with the IR transmitter there. Volume rocker size a little bit different, you know, and then the, here we have this two-stage camera key here, which I don't think we mentioned on the Galaxy S4 uh, comparison. Very important to note that we love Android phones, or any phones really, with a hardware camera button absent on the HTC One and the S4. There's our SIM tray. Micro SD expansion on the Sony product. No expansion available on the HTC One. You're stuck with your available storage options there. Uh, no removable battery on either one, though. 3,000 milliamp hour battery over here, significantly larger than HTC is offering. Let's flip them on over. We've got two displays here, uh, 4.7 inches over on the HTC One and a full five inches on the Sony Z1. HTC One uh, needs to boot, so we'll do that and then we'll compare some software. So we've had an interesting surprise when powering up the HTC One here to find it's the Google Play Edition HTC One. Sorry folks, we brought the wrong one to the trade floor, but that's okay, because it still gives us the opportunity to compare Sony's skin against stock Android. And you can see, here's the launcher here. But we've shown off this feature in the other, in the comparison and the hands-on, but it is pretty cool to be able to organize your uh, app launcher the way you want to. The nice, the really, really fun stuff though is in the camera viewfinder, which we checked out before, but as you can see, so here's the stock Android experience. You know, it's very, very, very minimalistic. You tap on that, you've got a couple pop-up options here, and you do have a significant amount of control over the, what, what the camera does, but uh, not, it's not quite granular. Obviously, it's not really a focus of the software here. Simplicity is the priority for the stock Android experience. Now, on the Z1, it is completely different. We'll give it a subject there in the HTC One. That'll be fun and meta. You, yes, you can hop in here and you can, you know, manually adjust things like exposure and, and settings and whatnot. But if we hop in here, we can do something fun called Time Shift Burst. You might remember a similar feature on the uh, BlackBerry Z10. We go ahead and take a picture of our friends across the aisle there. We snap that shot, and yes, that's the moment where we grabbed, but the camera was also selecting shots from in the past and it took several shots after the moment of capture as well. So this is very nice. You go in here, you select that one, say this is the one I wanna keep, bingo, there that is. Give it a second to process, and we hop in and there's our image. And as we said before, not entirely sure. Uh, we like what's going on with some of the artifacts in the, in the software here, but it's gonna have to wait for a full review to uh, check that out. But we're gonna go a little bit more in depth. If you would like some more uh, software exposure to the Z1, check out our comparison with the S4 and our initial hands-on. But right now, just a very quick look at how the Sony Xperia Z1, uh, formerly known as the Honami, uh, performs against the HTC One. We're still at IFA. Anton Dinod is still behind the camera. It's only the first day of IFA. We've got a lot more videos coming. Stay tuned to Pocket Now.